Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazar of Chess Channel and welcome to another spectacular game played by the strongest chess engine in the world played by Stoffish 17. So after the excitements that we have seen in the FIDE World Chess Championship match between Gukesh and Ding, we're back in normal mode. Uh, I'll try, of course, to cover now a uh, beautiful, sharp, tactical, uh, brilliant AI chess games. And of course, we'll cover also uh, some current tournaments that are going on. We can also expect some great, great games in the uh, forthcoming FIDE World Rapid and Blitz Chess Tournament in 2024. So this will be epic. Magnus Carlsen will probably play. So uh, again, we'll see sharp, sharp battles. But let's see now. This game that I prepared for you today and actually I wanted to show you this game much much earlier but I was really occupied with the FIDE World Chess Championship match. This game is really really cool because I think um, with this game you can really improve uh, your theoretical knowledge of the Taimanov Sitsin. The Taimanov Sitsin is really one of the best responses against E4. So today we'll see the big fish, the big stockfish 17 playing the Taimanov with the black pieces. Its opponent was also a strong opponent, Super Ultra. You see the rating of Super Ultra is around uh, 3,500 rating points. On the other hand, Stockfish's rating is almost 100 point, 150 points more. So, uh, of course, a huge, huge rating gap. So, let's see now uh, the brilliant Taimano Siltian and by Stockfish 17. So, with white, the uh, Super Ultra opened with the move E4. Stockfish response was the Sicilian. We have here the normal development, and now we have the French variation with the move E6. So we have now the open game, and after knight takes D4, we have now the Taimano Sicilian with the move knight to C6. And now we have the so called Gen variation in which white is trying, of course, to occupy the D6 weakness. Stockfish is not allowing that. Uh, Built the this so-called shamaning pawn structure which is of course uh, this flexible pawn structure which restricts of course many many squares here uh, in the center of the board we have c4 uh here super ultra goes into this um uh, marozzi bind structures where of course black uh, has a tough time to break and enter with the move d5 and then afterwards also with the move knight to c3 um black will never be able i think to break and enter with this d5 progress we have now knight to f6 uh, knight to c3 a6 kicking away the knight and now the knight drops back normal development again by the fish and now also super ultra prepares here kingside cows we have now b6 uh which is i think again a quite flexible move so far stockfish is building a positional setup it's not rushing with anything uh pretty pretty standard line i would say a pretty solid line although you didn't uh, you didn't already place your pawns on the fifth rank where you're supposed to be with your pawns because you want to of course occupy your opponent side of the board uh, still this uh, mobile pawn structure by black this uh, really flexible pawn structure is a great restriction idea because white really doesn't have so many squares to attack so so far white has to be careful white has to first of all play a positional game cannot really go immediately into the attack we have now bishop to uh, bishop to e3 here by super ultra and now uh king side casting normal uh, development again by Star we have now uh, casting also by super ultra knight to a4 uh, cannot be played although maybe you're attacking this pawn um in what white should not allow is somehow of course you um, this lose this e4 pawn which is centralized so that's why going for the attack against the b6 weakness so far is not possible here for white so that's why casting normal development again here by the fish and now f3 building this uh solid structure now in the next couple moves we can also expect the move b3 like in the common marotti bind structures white first of all builds this solid structure and then is trying maybe to make progress and put more pressure against this weak pawn on d6 stockfish continues with the rook to c8 and now bishop to f2 again knight to a4 uh, doesn't make sense because it's easy defendable with knight to d7 and then black can equalize the game immediately with a, a normal knight to c5 will eventually maybe improve the pawn structure here can also maybe later open the b file so so far this knight to a4 concept is really really not working here for white f rook to c8 bishop to f2 and now uh the real fun start so far it was a build-up it was of course uh, uh nice development by both sides but now stockfish plays a great theoretical novelty plays an amazing h5 goes immediately into the attack so you see stockfish is not waiting any seconds here immediately putting more pressure uh, against the white structure because white has already somehow weakened a little bit the structure in front of the king with the move f3 uh with the move e4 so now there are of course some clear targets that can be 
attacked here in white camp knight to c2 uh by uh, super ultra improving now the minor piece we have knight to e5 knight to uh, e3 and now knight to g6 stockfish notices this is now the weak score in f4 and also notices this the potential h4 move which could make uh, more progress here and of course could uh, put more pressure against white king queen to d2 here super ultra finishes now the development bro of course connects now the rook and now stockfish goes with his idea h4 immediately very very well stuff uh stockfish is trying to play very very a nice h3 which could of course disconnect the pawns here or would weaken further the structure even further here on light scores we have now rook from f to d1 good move by super ultra putting more pressure as we said against the weak pawn on d6 queen to e8 stockfish gets out of this d file mess and now rook from a to c1 and uh, i wanted to demonstrate you how really strong and how mean already this attack is by stalkers for instance if you don't play brook from a to c1 if you try something like knight to f1 i just wanted to show you how really, really crazy crazy already the can uh, the game can be then h3 as i said we can simply the structure further in now after knight to e5 maybe knight to e3 the issue is here now that black has this beautiful resource to get finally rid of the c4 pawn which is not allowing white to uh, pardon me black to push the pawn on d5 in the beginning i mentioned that black's idea in against this marozzi bind structures is somehow to break and enter with the move d5 and now with the move b5 that could be possible in this imaginary line you're weakening now finally the structure of the marozzi bind now for something like c takes b5 a takes b5 i just wanted to show you really, really some great tactics here that could be happening so you see how important this was maybe here to play the move h3 and then uh create some weaknesses here on f3 maybe then into h1 we pick up this one uh knight to e4 this just line one line of course the white and black don't have to play the game like this but i wanted to really demonstrate you after potential knight to f1 that the move h3 is actually quite quite tricky here for white to handle because then of the weakness on f3 so that's why for queen to e8 we have now rook from a to c1 if you play now h3 then this move can be met with g3 and it's a little bit different now the knight is not on f1 or something the knight is still controlling the center of the board so still an equal game but uh, at least uh, here with this move rook to c1 super ultra defense for the, the c4 pawn we have now after rook from a to c1 knight to h5 stockfish notices now uh this weakness of course on f4 we have now rook to c2 we have now knight to f4 and now h3 never ever allow uh stockfish now to play the move h3 which was as we saw very very dangerous for black to hand the issue again for um white is here white would love maybe to expand instead of h3 white would love maybe to put more pressure on the queen side where white has of course a slight advantage where white has of course a space advantage but then d5 um uh, this is a move that um uh, white cannot allow if black breaks and enters uh with this move with move d5 this could be very very hard to defend then for white if you pick up this one then bishop to b4 and you see now white um, has some issues around the square c3 this knight is pinned uh, then queen is uh, controlling this e file put um, more and more pressure around the square d5 the knights are very well placed by black uh, we can also try of course maybe knight takes e to deflect then the knight the queen from the defense of the knight on c3 so many tactical possibilities but i think completely completely winning position already here for black so i wanted to demonstrate really that so far it's not easy uh for white uh, to push the pawn here because of the counter attack with move d5 and when we play the marotte bind from white perspective let's flip the board a little bit uh you really want to keep somehow uh, this structure intact you want to keep somehow this solid position around the square d5 so uh, that's why in any of these lines we're really white has to be careful so after knight to f4 uh, that's why h3 not rushing here good move i would say also by super ultra bishop to c6 stockfish is preparing now to move b5 and then maybe when the pawn gets deflected then also to break and enter with the move d5 we have now king to h1 knight to h5 we have king to g1 i'm not sure why super ultra now repeated move probably it was annoyed by the possibility of a check on with the move knight to g3 stockfish plays now knight to g3 anyway and now uh here super ultra decides to play queen to e1 putting more pressure against this uh, knight on g3 if you pick up um, in any of these cases um the knight on g3 
it's actually not so good because you have too many dark score problems in front of your king you could maybe try to put more pressure against this uh, pawn on g3 but then the queen is coming into the game you're trying knight to g3 look at this then bishop to uh bishop to g5 even if you try i don't know queen to d6 this is not working because of uh bishop to e3 then you're trying to do something like this queen to d6 and then after rook to d6 we get here bishop to f4 and uh, white is losing the size of material it's game over so even if you try i don't know queen to e1 instead of this uh, whole idea to uh, attack the pawn on d6 then bishop to h4 pin simply the piece here you're trying to get the king of course but then queen to g5 i don't know then knight to f4 uh, and uh knight to h5 simply um demolishing here the position in front of in front of white's king so the dark score problems is also something that bothers of course white now in the continuation of the game so that's why for knight to g3 super ultra didn't risk anything played first of all a calm queen to e1 stockfish continues now with the brilliant b5 and now after bishop to d3 stockfish takes b takes c4 bishop to c4 and now bishop to b5 and again let's see options can maybe now uh white finally pick up um the, the knight on g3 here actually again not not so good it would be here for white because after h takes g3 and maybe bishop to b5 a takes b5 you pick up this one but then b4 is uh breaking the position on the queen side then you're trying something like this we trade off everything and then the queen is coming actively into the game rook to c1 look at this bishop to f6 is coming uh we'll try bishop takes b to deflect the rook from the defense of of the knight so devastating devastating position um uh, here for white so see um stockfish with the move bishop to b5 somehow attacks now both of the sides also the king side also the queen side at least on the queen side stockfish is managing somehow to defend this position we have now bishop takes b5 a takes b5 we saw that bishop to g3 is really not a good option again here for white we have now the move a3 and now bishop to g5 knight to f1 stockfish get challenged now finally uh this knight is really really in danger now super ultra tries to take it of course with the knight and keep the darko bishop on the board and keep of course uh, the position of the king so far secure stockfish continues with knight to h5 still this pawn on h4 is protected by the bishop and by the knight we have now rook takes d6 and stockfish lost now pawn but stockfish simply doesn't care for pawn stockfish continues now with the tiny little attack queen to e7 rook to b6 going also for another pawn but now in this whole messed uh, position actually what happened after knight to e5 and rook to b5 is that uh super ultra lost somehow the battle on the open files now super ultra okay super ultra gained two pawns stockfish sacrificed two pawns but now the d file is open black has already already huge activity here in front of white king so now after knight to d3 uh now stockfish improves even this piece goes for the attack and suddenly i think the position is collapsing or simply for white uh, white has to react queen to b1 stockfish takes we have now rook takes f2 and now rook from f to d8 and although this rook took uh, many pawns here now the rook is disconnected from this rook on f2 and stockfish as i said simply won the battle now finally on the d file has a great activity there are still these dark core problems against white's king so from this point on the game becomes really really a one-way ticket in black's favor king to h1 f6 tiny little improvement simply fixing now the bishop on um uh, g5 and stockfish wants of course now to play freely with the queen maybe somewhere with on a7 if this rook moves maybe even to c5 but now stockfish is trying to attack further the dark horse in white's camp a4 knight to f4 we have now rook to d2 which my stockfish engine at home evaluates as an inaccuracy stockfish says that you should somehow try to battle uh, on the c5 but it gets still very dangerous look at this now comes this idea queen to a7 this bishop is finally protected uh i don't know you're trying knight to h2 then again knight to h5 knight to f1 knight to g3 even in this scenario it's so hard to defend bishop to f4 knight to e2 then queen is coming into the game look at this you're trying this one queen takes f2 you cannot even pick up this one even if you try to challenge of course rook to c1 nothing nothing can happen it's just again one line that i wanted to show you but uh it's so hard to defend very really, really the dark horse all over the world even after rook to c2 i'm not seeing after here knight to d3 knight to f2 and similar stuff knight to h5 uh knight to g3 we saw queen to a7 so simply too many too many tactical problems in white position so here after rook to d2 stockfish says okay why not i'll play again queen to a7 put more pressure on this diagonal rook takes d8 rook takes d8 and okay 
while it still has these two extra pawns, but it's really far away. Um, we cannot really consider this pass pawns because they're not really, really uh, close enough to the action. Stockfish tactical ideas are much, much more dangerous against White's position than maybe White's idea to push the pawns on the queen side. So here, queen to c2. Uh, super ultra has to now somehow to defend this position but now knight to d3 beautiful move now the knight is coming on a, this uh, amazing f2 square knight to d5 knight to f2 we have now king to uh, g1 and now if you try of course king to h2 something then we'll simply pick it up so that's why after uh, king to g1 knight takes h3 comes with a double check uh here super ultra has to play king to h2 stockfish delivers a new check super ultra takes it now stockfish grab now also this one uh and still this knight is hanging and of course uh here stockfish already built an amazing checkmate net uh around white's king what should you do you could maybe hold on to this position with knight to e7 seems tempting but then king to h7 and i don't know you're trying maybe something like e5 to deliver a check but it's not working because after f5 knight to f5 you don't pick up the knight actually look how crazy crazy tactical the position is uh then you play rook to d3 uh you simply lock this diagonal and now after something like i don't know knight to d6 if you want to keep the piece on the board then king to h6 then you're trying rook to b3 and then king to h5 look at this there's nothing that can be done then afterwards after uh queen to h1 it would be amazing checkmate so stockfish calculated everything in a great way uh that actually white is cornered somehow with the king on h3 so uh, after queen to f1 what super ultra tried is to escape with the king on g4 but it's again not working stockfish plays now the brilliant h3 if you try g takes h3 then uh, you get in again into a checkmate with g6 look at this then uh bishop to h4 and then queen to g5 it will be again a stunning checkmate so here after move h3 super ultra tried knight to f6 stockfish played now bishop to f6 g3 stockfish simply pushes the pawn further super ultra takes but now a rook to d3 and there's no good defense against queen to f3 rook to b8 by super ultra and actually in this position even white resigned so here you can just cover with uh bishop to d8 and there's no good defense as we said after queen to f3 this game is simply over you have to now give up the rook here and uh with with this situation obviously black has a completely winning end game so amazing amazing game by the fish in the timeline of sicilian really stunning stunning ideas uh, risky choices i would say again with this uh double pawn sacrifice um i'm not sure how many of us would even consider to play a game like this this is simply different tactical tact tactical chess here by Stolfers demonstrated in a beautiful timeline of Sicilian. Maybe you can use something uh, in this game because I think still it was an instructive, instructive idea in the beginning with this H5 progress and H4 and then occupying uh, the dark course all over the board. So interesting, interesting game for sure here by the strongest chess engine in the world by stockfish 17 so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot interesting time out of sitting for sure if you want to see some other brilliant sharp tactical but also amazing positional games check out our computer chess games for the computers here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content hit the subscribe button see you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end chess is the best of course